Hello, girls. Good morning. Uh, I've received a lot of requests asking me to uh, explain about this green building project. So I've decided to make a video because it's now the school holidays. So I want you to use this time to actually think about how to make this model and uh, to make a good one. Okay, just to get uh, to get as much marks as you can for your project. All right. Okay. So uh, actually, I've uh, explained what is a green building in my previous lesson when I was in class when we just started back classes after MCO. Uh, okay. I will explain here again what is actually a green building. So a green building does not mean a building that is green. Okay. So a building uh, is considered a green building if you look here. It is a building that in its design, in the making of it, the construction or the operation can reduce or eliminate negative impacts that means bad impacts bad effect and can create positive impacts that means good effect eh, to our climate on our climate and the natural environment that means our surrounding so green buildings can preserve precious natural resources so it will not waste the resources that we already have on this earth and also improve our quality of life so make our life better so what are the number of features? What are the features which can make a building green? Okay, now these include efficient use of energy, okay, in terms like let's say electricity, all right, water, and other resources. So that means we use these uh, things in a good way that we do not waste it and we try to maximize the usage, okay, and without uh, getting bad effect from it. Okay, number two point, the use, number two point, use of renewable energy such as solar energy. So we try to put in renewable energy resources here in our green building. Pollution and waste mat reduction, how to minimize pollution, okay, how to minimize waste. That means we try not to waste too much resources, okay, we do not try to throw too much rubbish. And if we do, how can we use them to reuse, to be reused or to be recycled? Okay, we try to think of recycling concepts in our green building. And then next point, point number four, okay, good indoor environment, air quality. So the air quality has to be good, right? We do not, we do not want to rely on a lot of air conditioning to make the room clean or cooling. Okay, so we have to think of that. Then using a material that are non-toxic, that means uh, things that are not poisonous, Okay, ethical, that means moral, morally, uh, and also sustainable, that means something that is in not able to use up our resources in the world, in the, in the, on the earth. Consideration of the environment, okay, so whatever we do, you must think of the environment, uh, we, our natural surrounding, or we call it the Ta Huan Jing, or Manda Ta Ziran, okay, or Manda Ta So, how we try not to create so much bad influence or bad impact on our environment the surrounding the natural resources consideration of the quality of life of the people all right so and also next one the design that able to adapt to the changing environment that means is uh, something that is suitable to be changed when the environment changes something that is not fixed all the time that we can uh, if the environment changes let's say it becomes warmer at one time then our building must be able to adapt to that changing environment Okay, let's look at the next one. How can we make our building green? Okay, before that, any building can be a green building. Okay, it doesn't have to be a house. It can be an office, it can be a school, hospital, community center, or any other type of structure. Okay, provided it has all these features here. Okay, right, let's go on to the next one. How can we make our buildings green? So, let's look at the points I've highlighted. Minimizing energy use means making use of energy, but minimally that means uh, try to reduce the using of and the uses of energy okay and making make them the new and re renovated buildings more comfortable and less expensive to run integrating renewable and low carbon technologies so we try to think of renewable energy resources here and then this must not be pre uh, creating a lot of carbon footprint that means we must not produce carbon dioxide all right whatever we do in our green building, we must try not to have the output of carbon dioxide to the environment. Okay, next one, water resources. Okay, in exploring ways to improve drinking and wastewater efficiency and management, how do we 
make use of the rainwater? How do we process it in a way that we can reuse it? Harvesting water for safe indoor use. Okay, water for safe indoor use. So think of the ways that you can reuse water, maybe from the rain. Okay, and how to minimize water usage in the buildings. Minimizing waste. Okay, waste like uh, things that we throw away. Okay, generating less waste, try to not to produce so much rubbish. Okay, and also try to engage people to reuse and to recycle. Okay, next one, promoting fresh air, promoting uh, health and well-being. Okay, we want to stay healthy at the same time. So how do we bring fresh air inside without relying on air conditioning and we switch on our machines all the time and then we're producing heat as well. Delivering good indoor air quality through ventilations. Ventilation means letting the air come in, the natural air coming in and the hot air goes out and the cool air comes in. Avoiding materials and chemicals that create harmful or toxic emission. We try to avoid making, uh, creating materials that can produce uh, poisonous or we call uh, emission. That means things that we release out is not good for the environment like carbon dioxide and also other gases. Okay, next point, incorporating natural light. Okay, we use the natural sunlight. So we try to make the uh, buildings using the natural sunlight. That means all your windows must not be all closed up and all dark. That would be, that would be blocking up sunlight, natural sunlight. And then you have to rely on switching on the, the lights in the house. And that would be using a lot of electricity. Okay, so we try to incorporate using natural lighting. All right, to ensure builders, uh, building users' comfort and enjoyment of their surrounding and reducing the lighting energy needs. That means you try not to use so much light in the house. Next one, okay, ensuring people are comfortable by creating the right indoor temperature. So if you are in a very cold country, you would not want to have some kind of uh, radiator in the house, all right, to make your house warm or insulation. But if you are in a hot country, in tropical country, we want to make our building cooler. So it depends on where you stay actually. So for our country, we are more, our problem is on making, uh, how to make our house cool. So because we don't have very cold environment, right? So we, your model has to be based on our country. So we, we will try to think of ways how to make our rooms and our house cooler. Okay. Okay, next, keeping our environment green. Uh, we should also put in some greenery there. We should preserve nature. All right, try not to kill plants, try not to kill animals, using the land in the correct way by trying to uh, plant more green, green plants and trying to make more oxygen instead of carbon dioxide. Okay, and how to bring agriculture into our cities. That means maybe you won't have a patch here where you can do your vegetable farming, all right, and also plant more uh, green, uh, green plants that can produce oxygen. Okay, next one, last point here, Connecting communities and people, how do you want to um, create an environment, maybe a garden or a, a place where you can actually, um, your, your, your housing area would want to encourage a lot of environmental friendly uh, activities such as walking or cycling. Okay, Maybe there's a park here that you can encourage people to cycle instead of um, walking, uh, instead of driving. And maybe you have station where you can um, uh, what do you call charge your e-bikes okay so that would be uh, environmentally friendly instead of using you know uh, diesel and petrol where you produce a lot of carbon dioxide and you call it increasing the carbon footprint okay so in a nutshell in a summary so how are we what do you want to put into your uh what are the features you want to put in your green building? Okay, so I've met, um, I've put into a few points here. You do not have to put everything into your greenhouse or your green building, depending on how you want to do it. But you, these are some of the things that you should consider putting into your green building. For example, efficient energy using, usage, that means LED lighting, things that can uh, reduce the use of electricity, right? LED lighting, as you know, they are very uh, energy efficient. Just a few... Uh, maybe 18 watt about of an LED light can equal to 60 watt of a normal fluorescent light. Okay, efficient energy usage. All right, so you try to reuse rainwater, maybe the drainage system. All right, minimize using water. I mean, if, if you do it, you can maybe reuse the water that you have used. All right, the, the sewage water. Then renewable energy using solar cells and I think of wind perhaps 
things uh, that you can uh, reduce, uh, can produce electricity without using petrol or um, fossil fuel. Waste reduction by recycling. Incorporate waste so you can put uh, recycling bins in your in your green building. Encourage people to recycle. Right, ventilation, good ventilation system. So we need to have, you do not want to close up your entire building. You want to have some good ventilation where cool air comes in and the hot air goes out, right? Without always relying on switching on the aircon. Natural lighting, try to make use of light, uh, uh, natural lighting like the sun, okay? So you do not want to have your tinted glass all the time. That will be uh, very difficult. Your daylights will be very dark and you have to end up end up switching lights in every room, right? Preserving nature, right, including your plants and animals, right? Plants, try to incorporate some plants into your garden to increase the output of, of uh, oxygen and also try to encourage environmentally friendly habits, walking or cycling. So these are the points that I have summarized from my explanation just now on Green building. Okay, I want to give you some examples. Okay, what are the pictures that I have got that I've searched online to see what your models can look like? Okay, of course, these are very nice models. You do not have to do everything, you do not need to put in everything, you may not be able to. All right, so look at the green building features. You have this uh, solar panels here. All right, in every building, you will have uh, glass uh, windows to make use of. Um, natural lighting, indoor uh, air quality, right? Uh, you have indoor air quality control. Then you will have plants on the rooftops here to produce more oxygen, right? You have plants. This is actually a you know a complex a building. Then you have the underground here. You have the the sewage water is recycled here. Okay. Then you can see these people. They are using uh, this, uh, what do you call the such way? Uh, yeah, this one is the electric powered uh, vehicles that can uh, use it for transportation. Okay, and uh, this one is carpooling using a bus, right? Carpooling. So, and look at the green plants that you have in the environment and glass windows to encourage natural lighting. Okay, so you can look at uh, you can find this in the internet. You can look at the details. Okay, another example I can give you is now look at the system where they can reuse rainwater, rainwater collected from the rooftops. It can go into a tank, and this tank can be used to pump to be pumped. This water can be pumped into the cistern tank for the toilets and for the shower and for the uh, water, uh, the air that we call it the pipe. In the, I mean the sink and also the washing machine, and then the water that is used, all right, they call it sewage water. They call it this is called grey water, okay. So this will be used, uh, treated, treated. You can use it to flower, uh, to, uh, to water your garden, and also you can also put into the sewer, all right, to be recycled by the municipal counter, uh, council. Okay, another other examples. Now uh, this could be one example where your green building can be you mount it on the uh, cardboard and then you have your house here this is a solar panel you have recycling bins you have um this uh solar i would call wind turbines right to produce electricity okay then you have a uh, next right this is another example of a green building you can see all the designs here you have solar power all right metal lighting uh, metal or light colored roofing this is to reflect the sunlight so it's silver color you have buildings uh, you have um, plants green plants rainwater collection okay uh, central vacuum system all right all this you can incorporate into your green building okay let's look at other details okay right you can make a building here you can, uh, this is your photovoltaic cell, this is your green, uh, sorry, this is your solar cell. Rooftop planting, you can have a vegetable garden up here. And this is a uh, natural lighting, see the sunlight coming in. Okay, uh, you can have other things, right? Rainwater utilization system underground, you can recycle the water here. All right, so it's no more. Some more examples, green energy home, solar panel, Okay, uh, energy star appliances, appliances that can 
save electricity, 省电 right? Wastewater heat recovery system, high efficient heat pump. So、uh, insulation. Now this is for usually cold countries, ah. Okay, countries that are very cold, you want to have the heat inside will be warmer than outside. So you want the heat to stay indoors. That's called insulation. So this wall, they have padding. They have put special padding so that the heat does not go out. Okay, so in our country, we may not need insulation. It's the opposite case, right? In our country, we find that the uh, it is very warm. All right, so we want the heat to uh to dissipate. To release the heat outside, so we do not need insulation in our walls, in our floor, or the basement or the roof. So this is only for cold countries. Okay, natural day lighting. Yes, we have sun all the time, most of the time. So we need natural lighting. So we need to put some glass windows to make sure that that room is not always dark. Okay. All right. Then some more. All right. Features of net zero home. Okay. These are some more. Double insulation. Now this again for cold countries, so we may not need that. Then you have a、uh, water heater, right? A、uh, heat pump, right? This is under the basement, right? Ah,、uh, then you have low flow water fixtures. How do we use a、uh, hot water and so on? This is your solar cell. So I give you an idea, right? You can use a cardboard box. Cardboard box. You can cut up and. You can put dividers inside there to show the rooms. To show the rooms, maybe one is the toilet, one is the living room, one is the bedroom, and you can show what are the things that are inside. Make a、uh, use a、uh, daily objects like straw, paper, right? Draw, cut up, and paste inside. So a lot of cardboard and paper may be used here. So it doesn't matter. You can recycle it later. All right, another one, another example. Right, you have. All these again, the same old, same thing. Roughly, you have a solar power, a solar panels, right? Um, you have natural lighting coming into the room. You have a ventilation system. You see the air circulates, right? Ah,、uh, cool air comes in, then hot air goes out. Then you have basement here. You may even have some. Ah,、uh, this is for mostly cold countries when you have a, a internal what they call heating system. Okay, so this just gives us a few ideas of what you should be putting, thinking of putting into your、um, green building. So I hope this gives you an idea of what you should add in. So I show this again. All right. So basically, you need to have this incorporated. So try to put as many as you can, because、um, the points will be given based on the features. And also your presentation. Don't forget how to explain it. You cannot just expect to make the building and just plop it in front of me. You have to explain a little bit what you have put into your green building. All right. Okay. So I hope you have fun. Right. Uh, try to work in a uh in an uh in a group and come up with a nice green building. I give you a month's time to the end of September. All right. You present it the second. Or the last week of September, please bring your models to school. You can even、uh, use any free time in school to discuss with your friends about how to make your green building. All right, okay. You can even bring it to school, and also you can also assemble it into school in school. All right, okay. So I hope that you have a better idea now. And、um, if you do have any questions, please don't forget to ask me. Please do not hesitate to ask me. I will be able to. I will be happy to explain that to you. All right. Okay. Bye.